Okay, it looks like this thing is working, so, uh... Hey guys, this is Blurry Dave, back with another video, and, uh, oh, I'm sorry if my finger's in the camera. Finally, I got a face cam on this Mobizen app that my brother's been using. Oh, I'm sorry. Hang on. Did not properly prepped this episode. I'm sorry, so, um... Okay, so... What do we have to talk about today? Well, guys, I thought this was a hoax, or like, uh, like a troll. Well, to me, it's still a troll because, um, you know, um, Michael Keaton's Batman, huh? <sighs> don't like him. I, 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 I don't like him. Um, there is no way that his Bruce Wayne could have existed in the current DCEU because that just doesn't work. <clears throat> I think people are trying to retcon that. Just like just like how people are trying to retcon Tobey Maguire's and Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man's to the MCU, but that can't work. I understand multiverse-wise, right? Because, you know, the CW Arrowverse introduced us to, like, the crisis of infinite Earths. Um... Guys, I don't want Michael Keaton's Batman to uh, be the main Batman of the DCEU. That that just doesn't work, alright? I like Michael Keaton better as the Vulture, guys. Um, but, here's the thing. Here is the freaking thing, alright? Sure, um, it's no surprise that he's coming to... Uh, the Flashpoint movie, because, you know, multiverse, but, um, here's the thing, guys, here's my deal. If you're bringing him back full-time, or whatever, you need to bring Brandon Ruth into this universe, alright, because, uh, jeez. What Warner Brothers and DC should have done, they should have had the guts back in the 80s to make their own, like, Batman v Superman with Michael Keaton and Christopher Reeves Superman. Uh, and of course we got Brian Ruth here, and he looks and sounds exactly like Christopher Reeves. Um, and so he's still continuing that legacy, so, uh... I mean, guys, there could be so many multiverses of, uh... Batman v Superman. I even wanted the TV superheroes to have a like a like a versus thing. Like you know what I'm talking about. Like um, George Reeves Superman, sixty six Batman, and uh, Linda Carter's Wonder Woman. Um, sure, it might have been cheesy, but uh, I don't know how uh inter how the fans will be entertained back then. But um, um, I mean yeah, this could be a perfect opportunity because there was a canceled Batman v Superman back in the day. It was supposed to come out in 2004. So, maybe they could still do that in a way. Like, um, what would you call Christopher Reeves' Earth? Like, Earth 78? Because that's when the, the first movie started. It can't be like Earth 06, because Superman Returns took place in I just want to point this out, guys. Um, with the crisis on infinite Earths, when uh, Brandon Ruth, Superman here, um, he referenced uh, a good old Sup Superman 3 reference, right? Okay, as you guys probably don't know, yes, um, I love Superman 3 the most out of all of, all of them. I recently watched it again, and it has been so long since I've seen that. Like, I forgot how funny it was. I'm thinking, what if... Uh, what if Sam Raimi got that inspiration and then put it into Spider-Man 3? <laughs> Who knows? Um, yeah. Um, anyways, uh, the reference that he made was that he was fighting with himself. And I'm pretty sure he made that canon, but... Uh, I have not seen Superman 4 in a long time, and I, I don't want to see it again, guys, because that movie is freaking awful, right? Um, 
whatever is part of the the DC canon with Michael Keaton's Batman and Christopher Reeves Superman that that's up to the studios guys the the franchises not the fans right the fans can't they can't say like oh this is part of the canon now or that's part of that canon like no that it's it's the studios decisions guys all right but um yeah Warner Brothers if you're watching this you if you're bringing Michael Keaton back full time, then you gotta bring Brandon Ruth's Superman into this universe, right? Because, um, well, it doesn't have to necessarily be in the DC EU, guys. It could, um, well, let's think about this. Did Christopher Reeve's Superman and Michael Keaton's Batman exist in the same universe? Think about it, because these two franchises came out, um. Let, let's just say at the same time, not 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 the same years, but uh, later times. Um, I I wouldn't just go ahead and assume that there was already references to like different superheroes. Um, I don't know, like if they could do this in their Earth, because uh. I don't know, guys. You guys can tell me what you think in the comments below, right? Because, uh... Because, let's be honest, um... I'm getting back into the feel of DC again. More than Marvel, because, um... Yeah, when, when I started liking DC growing up, I, I was into that more than Marvel. So, uh... I'm trying to get back into that feel again, because... Again, if Disney is putting their stupid agendas in their future Marvel Studios films, then I just won't have it, guys, all right? The DCEU is... It could be our only hope to saving uh, future superhero franchises. And, uh... uh excuse me. Nobody's gonna go, go want to see a superhero film... And watch agendas. Like political agendas. Because we don't need that. Alright. Um, and uh, of course. Christopher Reeves is not my favorite Superman. Um, but I thought. Brandon Ruth. Knocked it all out of the park. Um, so yeah. If we could just get him to cross over. With Michael Keaton's Batman. Then maybe. I might consider. Liking his Batman just a little bit more. And I feel like I've been forced to um, watch just the two Michael Keaton Batman movies. That's it. Um, again, it's not up to the fans who decide what movies in a franchise are, are, are canon, alright? that They need to be confirmed by movie studios themselves, alright? That's all I have to say, so... Um, yeah, the, 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 this is a little argument I want to share with you guys about, because, you know, like I said, I don't like Michael Keaton's Batman at all. I like, I like Ben Affleck's, I like Christian Bale's, um, I like Henry Cavill's Superman and uh, Brandon Ruth's Superman, and, and George Reeves' Superman, let's not forget that, <laughs> alright, um. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, uh, I'm sorry about uh, the intro. I was unprepared for this. Um, but if you haven't checked out my recent videos, guys, uh, I got a new setup. got a computer. And uh, I've been making uh, custom thumbnails now. Um, I mean, I haven't edited any, like, thumbnails on my own. I just went on, like, Google and just... Uh, Found some creative ones that I liked. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I've I've done a lot of th I, uh, awesome thumbnails last night. Like, so you I know you guys have been begging me to change them, so I did. I I um I changed most of them for for my favorite franchises. So if you want to go check them out, please do. And uh, hopefully this face cam will work out for future gameplays. 
Alright, thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much. May the Lord be with you guys. Always love you guys. Peace out, guys.